welcome back and KP here. How are you doing today? See, yes, we're doing another resin. Um, you could call it a tutorial or you could just call it KP mashing it up as she goes along <laughs> video. So as you can see, I'm using the craft resin A and B. So that's a one to one ratio. And I'm using my inks, which were the fuchsia pink. Um, there was a black and just the white, which I used in this video and some glitter i'll put down below the brands but generally they're all from amazon so equal quantities being weighed out here for us and then obviously stir extremely slowly i have my mask on as well as my gloves hence why i'm doing a voiceover and not chit chatting with you um which is a good thing slightly restrictive actually this i was reading the uh craft resin and it said that the uh chemicals that come off of it are actually quite low odorless uh non-toxic non-vocs so i think it's probably a really good one to use um if not a little bit probably a pricier than most other resins that you can get out there glitter's popping in here now um just give that a little mix up I quite like this I just create as I go I watch so many videos on TikTok and YouTube but then I don't think I've got exactly the same product so it's really hard to replicate what they do so I'll just give it a go as I go so my thought process for this one was that I would have distinct variation separation between the clear resin and the glitter so um i thought it'd be quite nice to have like that clear definition it it does go out the glitter is a little bit lighter so it doesn't sink completely to the bottom so it, as you can see here it is moving out and the clear resin is moving it around as well so just top that up with a little bit more glitter i think the way to stop that is to get a heavier glitter there's some different brands out there that i can see on other creators using so the beautiful fuchsia pink is now going in and it's an alcohol ink that i'm using and then i just put the white on top which obviously starts helping it create the awesome variations in the chemicals <laughs> i don't think what the word is there's feathering it's feathering and there's another word as well which i'm just learning <laughs> every day's a school day so yeah it's look you can see i'm just helping it out a little bit by doing a few little swirls to um if i'd probably put some more pink in and more of the ink it probably would have expanded a little bit more and it would have done a completely different pattern so i'm just experimenting really it's really pretty though who doesn't love a bit of pink and a bit of glitter and a lovely bit of white um i was using my uh isopro panel um alcohol the 99 whatever it is 99.9 percent .9 as well rather than torching it because if you see one of my other videos i torched it and it caught fire and a lovely instagram follower said that's because you're using alcohol and flame and alcohol clearly you know the bright the uh, orange brulee thingies you know brandy on a christmas cake and things like that christmas pudding it doesn't go so the best thing is to um use a hot air gun which i don't have at this moment in time of me doing these projects and i'm not going to go out and buy more things at this moment um but look looking cool so this is just before it starts curing i set it to one side but i think it i did the black gave it another little dimension to it i think it looks good don't forget to give me a thumbs up like this video guys hey it's the next day <laughs> so exciting i love seeing a reveal i think it's quite exciting um looking at it it looks like it's okay it's different and i only did one because i just wanted to see what it looked like and how it came out but it's a coaster of fun you ready to have a look okay so let's take off our dust proof lid Oh. 
is sparkly and pink. <laughs> ah. But don't forget, I was also testing to see which way I would put my, I've got some beautiful butterfly embellishments and I didn't know which way they would go. So, um, oh, look. And that's really cute. So I think that would be the way up. So I've got these butterfly look, embellishments. So I imagine, I would put one on there. Actually, I could even still do that. And then I could put a thin piece of resin on top and coat it. Look, how cool would that look? Ah. And then I'll put another coat of resin over the top of it and then I'd seal it. Or, oh, it's not now gonna come off. Yes, it will. Look at that side. Mm, I'm not sure. Anyhow, it looks very pretty. heart we did as well a little heart key ring oh <laughs> we've got the little mickeys in it cute right so that's it guys thanks for watching don't forget hit subscribe like notification bell and we'll see what we get up to on our next adventures of using resin <laughs>